The truth about Modern Warfare, man. As you guys know, a week or two ago, I was flown out to LA by Infinity War. Big thanks to those guys. I was flown out from the UK to LA to play Modern Warfare early, man. It was a crazy experience, and I actually vlogged the whole trip. That's gonna be in this video after this intro, man. You guys should enjoy it. It was a lot of fun to record. Like, I met up with a bunch of different YouTubers that you guys will know too. In fact, quick game, real quick. You should let me know in the comments down below every single time you spot a different YouTuber. Like, let me know every YouTuber you see in the comments down below right now. But yeah, I also will be giving you guys a lot of information about Modern Warfare since you know this is first time i've played it before towards the end of the video the truth about modern warfare man so if you guys want to see that you can stay tuned throughout the whole video and also i actually will be live right now on twitch trying to get to 100 subs over on there so if you want to come over and help i will be answering a bunch of questions again about modern warfare whilst playing some cod as well so if you got any more questions i didn't answer you should come over there but yeah man got the vlog coming up right now again i've never really done anything like this before on my channel so if you guys do enjoy please i'm just saying this because i really haven't done anything like this before please drop a like on this video man if you do enjoy it let me know by dropping a like on this video right now and I'll do more if a new opportunity comes up like this when I'm flown out to an event. I'll vlog it for you guys, man. So make sure you drop a like. And yeah, man, you guys should enjoy this. So let's get into it. We do have a fairly quick flight time of 10 hours 15 minutes. I know that our pilots will be flying as fast as we can, level as soon as we can. Let's go. 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 Several song filled hours late. Alright, yo, I made it. I don't know how to vlog, so don't even come at me, bro. I made it to my hotel room. In fact, matter of fact, I've already stayed the night. Got here about 6 p.m. last night. I had an 11 hour flight. De well, to be fair, my seat got upgraded. But I was living a lavish life, bro. I was living a life. I did enjoy it. It was all a bit mad, but I'm checking in right now because I want to give you guys a tour of the room. I need you guys to know how I'm living out here in LA. I'm only here for a couple days. First time in America, so. So you walk into the place, you got a bathroom right here. Cool. Got the little. Hold up. You got the little cupboard. Oh my god. I need you now hanging up. It has to be hung up. You know what I'm saying? That's like my favorite hoodie. Come on now. Got a little mirror. Yo, what's going on? You got all this different stuff. My phone. Cool, cool, cool. My bad if the room is messy. I don't, I don't really care though. Stuff over here. My shoes. It's a, it's a little bit. It's nice. It's nice. LA is cool, man. Like, I've not experienced it too much yet, but it seems pretty cool. I'm walking into the bathroom right now. So I'm rocking a nice little off white tee. I'm rocking the Nike shorts, Air Force Ones. You guys already know. It, it, it's lit. It's lit out here, man. But yo, we're out here in LA for the first time. I want to show you this little care package I got. Shout out to Activision. Unboxing of this joint right here. So look, we got a Modern Warfare bag. As you guys can see, I want to see what's in this. I'm not going to lie. I've already seen it. But yo, we've got a little cap. I will take it. A nice little cap to rock. Cool, cool Modern Warfare on the front of it. We got, I believe, these are the joggers. Yeah, we got some nice Modern Warfare joggers. They just look comfortable, to be honest. I like comfortable joggers. I probably wear these to sleep or something, to be real. This little package that I'll open in a second. And we also got a t-shirt, a Call of Duty endowment t-shirt, I believe. There we go, a little t-shirt right there too. And also we got this thing, which I believe is a little like recharge thing, like a Mophie type thing, even though I have already got one. I've already got a Mophie. It has up to 70 hours, which is fire, but I appreciate this for sure. But yo, shout out to Activision, man. You guys hooked it up. I appreciate you guys. All right, man, like I said, it's my first time out of England. Well, I've been Wales, but I don't even count, bro. I don't even count that. But yo, it's my first time in LA. I'm enjoying it right now, I believe. Let me see the time real quick. The time is half past 11. So we out here, my schedule was all types of messed up, bro, because I came from the UK, 11 hour flight, the time difference is mad, so I'm feeling a bit weird about this. It does not feel like half 11 in the morning right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to leave, meet some fools real quick. Yo. Oh, shit. Hey. Yo, what's good, bro? Yo, what do you like? Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. A few moments. Yo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Brad. Yo, Brad. Brad, 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 Brad. Nah, don't play with me, bro. I'm not, I'm not happy, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. It's a party bus, bro. You're entertaining. Damn. Hey, <laughs> Damn. Hey, yo, Brad. <laughs> yo, Brad, Brad, Brad. Brad, Brad. No. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? 
Where everyone at? Let go, let go. Let, let go, bro. You'll take the highlights out of the way. EDC. <laughs> Yo, it's smoking here, bro. Yo, what's going? Yo. Yo, can we get front row though? Oh, we can't get front. We good? Let's sit down. Uh, I'm going right here. I'm how are you gonna I'm stop right there, right bro? What the, what the hell are you? I'm Yo, this right here, man. Are you I can't. Hear ye. I can't. Hear ye. I can't. Hear ye. <laughs> oh, Rich, how you feeling, bro? I don't even know where we are. I don't know where we are. I'm feeling good, bro. I'm hyped. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm hyped, bro. It's gonna be dope. <laughs> oh my god. A few moments. Let's get into the truth about Modern Warfare, man, because now you guys know I've actually played the game. I've played the game. I've got to experience it. I'm part of a few people that I have, so I think I'm a pretty good source of information when it comes to Modern Warfare right now. So basically, there's been a lot of questions about the game. Of course, you guys have seen the trailer. You've seen a lot of gameplay now as well. The main question is about the minimap. Of course, that's the one thing most people are worried about because you guys, if you guys don't know, Modern Warfare currently has no minimap unless you get a personal UAV, a UAV, or an advanced UAV. You're not gonna have a minimap, bro. It's a little bit weird. Of course, it's different in comparison. To other Call of Duties. My opinion personally is we definitely should have a minimap, bro. I just think it's part of Call of Duty. That's a thing that should stay in Call of Duty forever. The minimap. Unless you don't want it and want to play hardcore, go do that. That's cool, but that's like a separate game mode. Do you know what I mean? I feel like we should always have a radar when it comes to Call of Duty in core. I feel like it's part of Call of Duty to like read the minimap, see where shots are coming from, just know what direction to go, know where people are spawning, know how to read the minimap itself without having an actual UAV. I feel like that's a skill, and without that. Uh, it's a out that is different. Of course, it would be a skill in general to like be able to play without a minimap until you get a UAV, but. I don't know, I just feel like the minimap is of course like a staple in Call of Duty and I feel like it should be there, especially with those higher game modes like, you know, the 10v10s, the 20v20s, which I will talk about in a second. I feel like a minimap is, I wouldn't say needed, but it should be in the game, just as a factor, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's my opinion on that and also, I personally think they will add the minimap back. Like, from what I've heard from the people that we've spoke to and all different stuff, not to say it's definitely coming back, but they don't seem close-minded to the fact that, you know, you could make the Call of Duty better. Like, of course, he's made this change and they always make like a drastic change to every Call of Duty at this point. I feel like you do great things and then you do one thing that is extremely controversial but i personally think when the beta comes out it probably won't have a mini map by then but when the beta comes out once people give their opinions you never know it could be an amazing thing i personally don't think so you buy all the opinions they get that's what the beta is for do you know what i mean just to test different things see how things run just like people's reactions and stuff like that once the beta comes out i truly believe like after that and once the full game comes out we'll probably have a mini map i'm just saying that's my opinion i feel like we'll have a mini map by then so basically the different game types we played we played 6v6 we 
played 10v10, we did 2v2s as well, as you guys know, we did 20v20s as well. Now, the good thing about like these different types of game modes or game sizes in Modern Warfare is the fact that the maps don't really correlate with each other. So you don't really play a 6v6 map with 40 players on it. Do you know what I mean? Like the 6v6 maps are for 6v6 only. Do you know what I mean? And then the 20v20 maps are bigger maps, of course, but you can only play them on 20v20. They're like separate. The maps are separate, which is a good thing, of course. So then we'll have decent sized maps in correlation to like the amount of players, which is good in my opinion. Now, in terms of the actual game itself, because a lot of people were comparing like the graphics of Battlefield and Rainbow Six Siege, stuff like that. Games that just aren't Call of Duty. Do you know what I mean? I feel like personally, I feel like this happens like most years when we got, I don't know, jetpacks in like Infinite Warfare or Black Ops 3. Oh, this is Titanfall 2. This is, you know, whatever it is. This is Halo, but it never actually turns out like that. It always feels like a Call of Duty. And I feel like that's the same with this one. I don't think it feels anything like Battlefield. I don't think it feels anything like Rainbow Six. It feels like a Call of Duty. The graphics are just a lot better, of course, because it's on a new engine. Everything looks a lot more realistic. It's insane. Most of the lobbies you will find, no one's trying to like throw C4 in a door, blow it up, and then run in like it's a flipping mission. That just won't be happening. Kind of got to eliminate some of the like the crazy like things that don't look like Call of Duty because most people just won't use them in general. Like you can get like 30 plus, like I heard you can get like 60 attachments on certain things. Like bro, it's mad. You can get so many attachments. I think in Black Ops 4 right now, you can get like, I don't know, six attachments on certain weapons. That is nothing compared to Modern Warfare, man. I'm saying you can get at least 35 attachments on each weapon. There's so many different types of red dot, like a cog and stuff like that. Like, so many different types of extended mags, stocks, all that different stuff. There's so many versions. You can put like a sniper scope on a shotgun, man. It's insane. It's mad. It's so much customization which means i don't know it'll just last a little bit longer it'll be a lot more fun to play you'll be able to experiment a little bit more with your classes i'm hoping there's some nice camos man like honestly if he's not that would be a really like big downside to me personally because i feel like that's one thing that helps ecology a lot is like really nice camos he's like bright nice like worth going for camos man then that's a GG. It's a GG, man. I'm telling you, the game's beautiful itself. If he had, if he had good camos, bro, it's over. When we'll find out like what the good weapons are and stuff like that, that's the beta, man. But yeah, man, that's the end of this video. Again, come over to my Twitch or let me know in the comments down below like what other questions you guys have. Don't forget to drop a like on this video, man, and I'm gone.